I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He's Folk Style. And as you can see, something a little different today. I'm joined by Rob, uh, who I'm sure most of you know is our photographer and videographer here uh, at HSS. Nice mustache, by the way. It's great for social distancing. No, no one wants to get near me looking like this. Definitely keep people away for sure. <laughs> uh, well, it's been a while since uh, Rob and I have been able to actually shoot together. Uh, so we thought we'd hop on a little call here and make something out of it for you guys. So we've had a lot of time uh, to think recently. And I started thinking back to some of the uh, more memorable moments we've had shooting together over the past seven plus years. Uh, I made a list and then I had Rob make a list independent of mine. Uh, there was some crossover, but uh, uh, which wasn't surprising. And then there were some things that were uh, interesting. So I'm going to jump in with, with my first pick here. And that was our very first shoot. Uh, and I remember this for a variety of reasons and I think you do as well. Uh, for me, it was mostly that we had no idea what we were doing, like either of us, <laughs> right? You had, you brought all these lights out. Man, so much like <laughs> pro studio lighting gear, like out on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what I was doing in terms of like uh, how to pose. I remember like we wanted to get like a candid shot uh, and I was walking and you had to yell out my name so I would look a certain way. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and uh, actually, I think I can probably find that. I remember it, that exact photo. It's on one of the, we shot three looks. Um, I changed in your big white Suburban. Oh yeah. Did you break something? Oh yeah, we totally knocked one of those lights over and like broke the glass diffuser dome on it. <laughs> How much did that cost? I like that, that little piece of glass is like 150 bucks every time you break one. Don't ask yeah. me how I know every time uh, <laughs> I have to buy a new one. Yeah, uh, it was really cold that day. Uh, it was in a, cold. we shot in a small neighborhood in uh, Baltimore called Ridgely's Delight, which is down near Camden Yards, if you know the city at all. Uh, it's, it's a nice city. Uh, we'll put up some pictures of uh, that first shoot for everyone. So the next one uh, was on both of our lists, and that's, that's not surprising. And that was our uh, trip to Venice with Persol. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, that, um, that was really exciting because we had just signed with uh, our talent agency then, and it was literally like a week or two later we were on a plane uh in first class <laughs> going to venice yeah. <laughs> to be at this thing uh tell me what like your impressions were when that was going on oh man it was like super exciting um to be there and that event was like so atypical as well i mean um certainly atypical for anything i had done previous to that but like as we've done other events I don't think we've ever I've never been a part of another event that was so uh just like art driven and and it's kind of like avant-garde it was really really interesting um, yeah so what was what was so the event just people uh, don't know is called um Atelier Persol and that was like this thing they used to do I, I don't know if they do it anymore but they would invite like all of these interesting uh artists uh dancers, musicians, filmmakers, photographers, uh, and they basically like stuck them in this house in Venice for like, I don't know, was it like three, three or five days, something like that? Yeah. yeah. And they had to create like a piece of work. Um, so uh, among the people who were there when we were there were Nan Golden, photographer, mm -hmm. uh, Abel Ferrara, uh, yeah. the director, who I remember having a very interesting conversation with. Uh, <laughs> I was very scared. I watched, I watched bad Lieutenant before we went just so I'd know something about him. But, uh, and then, uh, the one that, that sticks in my mind though, was the dancer. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. It was incredible, incredible display. Um, like people like left that room just like with their breath taken away. Like it was really really exciting we had no idea like what was going on like uh we were just ushered into this uh dark room and then there was this solo dancer uh who did basically like a, a dance of a phoenix mm -hmm. uh and the light the lighting and the music and like everything was just like so overwhelming and we, we were just in this small room together and i remember going out uh, into the courtyard after that and people were I was crying like people were crying like our friends from Persol were were in tears we just 
I, I hadn't witnessed anything like that in a very long time, if ever. Yeah, it was powerful. Yeah. Really great trip. Uh, we made it, we made a cool video too. Oh yeah. The, I mean, that video was great. Like shot it on my little tiny, uh, right over here, the, uh, Fuji. Yeah. Shot it on this little guy, like not a video camera at all, but like totally fun to, to shoot there. My other memory from that trip was that like, I decided that I would sleep when I was dead because we'd like, get, we'd get done with the day and you were like, Oh my God, I'm so tired. I got to get to bed. And I'd be like, I'm only going to be in Venice for three days. And I would like go out and wander the city, like with a bag full of camera gear, like by myself till like three or four in the morning and then like get up and go shoot again the next day. I don't know how you I, do that. <laughs> I remember sitting, sitting out in St. Michael square and hearing the clock strike four and looking around and I was the only person there. It's just like, like yeah amazing trip amazing trip like great people great event mm -hmm. good images and, and just all around like, we go when we go uh on these trips like we work hard i think that's uh we don't oh. just do what we have to do we, we kind of <laughs> and, and we don't just go like above and beyond for the brands but we i think we we try to make things that we want to do as well too sure um, and i think that's definitely the case of the the next one that we both picked as well which was a recent trip to well I guess it wasn't so recent or was it? No, was uh, it, was it a year ago? When did, yeah, when did we I even mean, go? <laughs> it was, I mean, it was, I think a little over a year ago, but that was pretty like recent compared to some of the Venice, other stuff. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, this was when we went to Miami, uh, for, with JLC for watches and wonders, which we called watch world. In our watch world. <laughs> There's a funny, there's a funny thing at the end of one of our videos where we were uh, testing out our equipment uh, for going to this event. But all right, everyone, we are here at Watch World. <laughs> we're we're looking at watches. Derek here has the most expensive but ugliest watch I have ever seen. Could you tell us about it? He doesn't want to talk about it. He has nothing to say. He knows he's he's stupid for buying this watch. He should have got a Seiko Five. I mean. Instead, he spent a million dollars on this Richard meal, which looks like a piece of cotton candy. Pfft. Hey, to each their own, who am I to judge? Thanks for watching. From Watch World, I'm Brian Sakawa. What did you like about most about uh, the Miami trip? Uh, there were a couple things. Like I thought that, uh, well, what stands out about it is it was one of the first times that we really kind of went to an event and plan to shoot video more than still photos. Yeah. So uh, for me, that was looming like large in my mind um, uh, because uh, most, uh, up until our recent transition to YouTube, most of my work with a camera, uh, 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 you know, throughout my artistic photographic life has been still work. And so um, I just remember really being focused on like, making sure details about videography were were being thought about mm -hmm. um i remember uh derek jeter blowing us off no it was a rod oh a rod, a -Rod. <laughs> that's right i wanted to do an interview with him and, and he wouldn't even like uh, come near us a rod blowing us off um but i remember like the shoot location at the hotel was pretty cool and, oh, and well, let's talk about the shoot location at the hotel because we okay. we <laughs> we had uh well, we spent the day, like we worked hard that day. We spent the day just like shooting three different looks uh, with the, uh, was it, it was all the Reverso, uh, the, with the, right. bottle, the anniversary. And uh, <clears throat> the first one went well. Uh, we, I think we shot that like right at the hotel. Like right at the hotel, yeah. The second one went well eventually because uh, <laughs> we, went, right. we went over to um, uh, the design district. Yep. We shot it and then we realized that like there was a wardrobe malfunction. Like one of my pockets was, was yeah. in and it just didn't look good. So we, anyway, we, we only discovered that after going back to the hotel. So we went back. Oh, we were both just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so we went back and then uh, we, we shot it and it was good. We basically did the same exact shots. Um, and then the, the last part that I remember at the hotel is we were, we wanted like a nighttime kind of feel and we did it in black and white uh, and we, 
did this really cool sequence going into the elevator, coming out of the elevator, walking out. Uh, and then like, as we were coming back in, as we we're finished, they caught us. Yeah. <laughs> Shut us down. Like right as we were wrapping up. Yeah. Luckily, luckily we had everything we needed. So, uh, what about, and I remember also the getting chased by the shopping mall cop. Yes. <laughs> that, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, um, the epic lunch that we had at the oh sushi place. I can't remember what it was called. I don't remember the name of it, but just like that sushi boat was like wider than my screen. Like you, there's no way you could have shown the whole table. You, yeah, like huge. I brought Robin there uh, when we went for vacation. But that was yeah, good. that was <clears throat> it. Was a good time. Uh, good people, always good people, and uh, we we were pretty happy with everything that we got out of that. So the next one we have here uh, was one that you chose, and it's the uh, a studio shoot that we did uh, for a brand a while ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you know, the, and the the reason for the the love of of or the that shoot stands out to me like has nothing to do with the brand, um, but it's one of those uh, rare instances where we chose to um, really go at it from a um from a much more studio perspective on still images and really use lighting gear like in a studio setting um and i love to do that like as a photographer i love studio lighting um i love to be able to craft what the image will look like and really put the light wherever i want to it's time um, consuming to do that it's it's time consuming and it's not something it's not the the style of shooting that we mostly have done um, throughout the course of He Spoke Style. Uh, but so the opportunity to do that stands out as something that was really enjoyable. And then like still some of those, like pieces of those finished images are still like header images on like, uh, yeah, you know, because I, I, would say, I would say one of the images is like iconic. It's the one that we always use. It's such like a great encapsulation of uh, everything that we stand for, I think. Right, right. And so that, that's why it stands out to me. Like I remember, like we wanted to be like dark and moody and and we just worked i think to i told you to. i i wanted to have like just like a little bit so the the shoot was for uh old spice like palm yeah. so we yeah, wanted to right. like the post was about how to do like the classic side part hairstyle so i was like i want to have just like the littlest bit of light on <laughs> my part and you were like oh i got it i'm gonna i totally got this yeah and it's just like that is super fun um, to go it, into a shoot yeah. that way. And I think it took like, I'm trying to remember how long it took to actually light that. I mean, it took a better part of an hour at least to light it, just to mm -hmm. get it ready, I think. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was just looking around here at the studio, like I can't imagine, like we didn't have a lot of room in that studio, but I didn't have all those soft boxes up anymore here. Right. Like we just- yeah. challenging yeah we were experimenting with a uh a soft box big soft box for a key light but the footprint was just too large so yeah 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 i like those images a lot and i still we like you said we still use them quite a bit all yeah. right so moving on we have another uh fantastic trip that we were able to take oh. together it's uh, a <laughs> bmw uh and that was just setting it up, letting people know what that is. So man, I, I can never remember what year it was. Do you remember? I think it's 2015. 15, 2015, October 20, of 2015. October 2015. So there you have it. So we were doing, our, this is probably like one of the most rewarding uh, projects that uh, we've done, at least from my perspective, because we did so many different things. Uh, so the, the job was we were... Uh, on a European road trip in the BM, new BMW 7 Series. And we flew to, we were going to three cities. We went to Zurich, we mm -hmm. went to Milan, and we went to Munich. And along the way, we were meeting interesting people uh, and telling their stories and uh, <clears throat> highlighting features of the car like through their stories. So uh, in Zurich, we met Mark Farner, uh, from Radical Sports is like one of the forerunners of introducing carbon fiber into skis and snowboards. Um, we met a really cool uh, experimental jazz, jazz musician there. 
uh, this is a similar thing for all these cities. So uh, we flew to, flew into Zurich, picked up the car, and then we were off to the races. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we had, uh, I wish I could remember his name, but like our, our handler, you know, followed Bjorn. us around. Bjorn. Bjorn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bjorn followed us around, uh, you know, so we would just drive every day or like go to go to the next meeting. Um, and what stands out, sort of what stands out for me is exactly what you're saying, like so many interesting people and the opportunity to shoot so many di different types of things. Like the first night I was shooting live music. Like who doesn't love having access all areas with a camera at a live music event? That's awesome. Yeah. You know, like. Um, and then like shooting interiors of the car and like really detailed, like photos that, that told the story of, of, of the makeup of the vehicle. And, and yeah, just we, super, super. We cool. made so many cool things. Like, so it was such like a multi-pronged approach. I mean, we weren't really focusing on Instagram. I don't, I don't think I really knew how to use Instagram at that point, but we made so many, uh, amazing blog posts. We did cinemagraphs. Uh, oh, that yeah. came came out really awesome. Uh, we did a short video, which was which was fun. Remember that mm -hmm. one? Uh -huh. yeah. uh, you you remember mostly, uh, I think, uh, meeting John Paulo. Oh, but yeah, great. And we took that photo actually right there. Yeah, yeah, sure did. <laughs> sure did. Uh, what did you like most about meeting him? I had met him met him previously, but that was your first time. Yeah, so he was just such a gracious like warm um like super awesome down to earth like guy um mm. you know uh italian gentleman type type personality but just like um like in my mind what i think of uh when i think of the italian people like he's he's really boisterous you know he he um uh, he's, he's really kind and generous. Oh, super kind and generous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so uh, he he met with us, and we went out to a great lunch with him, or dinner. 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 Yeah, had a great dinner with him. A big fish um, that was very salty. Yeah. <laughs> and and I think um, I like, I don't smoke cigarettes, but he was smoking a cigarette, so he gave me one, and I took like three puffs. Oh, and you were and like, like hammered oh, off of it. Oh. No, well, not <laughs> not really. Yeah, it like hit me like zing. But then, like, I felt so terrible the next day. Because, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, walking into that restaurant with him, I, I always say this, but uh, it was, like, uh, that scene with uh, in Goodfellas when Ray Liotta walks into the Copacabana. It's that famous scene, like, that follow scene that's, like, two minutes long, you know, one shot, and everyone knows him and stuff, and they're saying, hey, hey, how's it going? It was exactly like that. That's how I remember. Oh, yeah. yeah that's how absolutely. I remember it in my mind. Um. Okay, so the next one, I'm pretty sure you remember, and hopefully you can um, help refresh my memory a little bit, because there, there are aspects of this that I just can't recall. So I, I simply called it Samurai Guy. Samurai Guy. Yes, and okay, so I went back looking for the photo that you took of him <laughs> at the top of the stairs. Mm -hmm. But before we talk about that, maybe you could like just set this up. I don't remember what we were shooting. I remember where we were exactly. Yeah, so yeah, we were we were over kind of by MoMA, or oh, uh, the, our MICA. MICA. Yeah. yeah, we were over kind of by MICA. Yeah, and there are those uh, those steps that head down. Um, what were we shooting? Do you even remember? I don't. I don't. Mm. Uh, that was. It seems to me around the time period where we would have been shooting maybe that crazy checkered blazer, like the really huge pattern. I went um, back through like uh, literally before this, every single folder in the drive that I have with our photos on it. And I could not like identify where this was, but I remember in the proofs that you sent, there was this, this, you had the photo that you took. Oh, so yeah. anyway, we went down the stairs, right? We were trying out to like find a different place to shoot. Yeah, just, and, and we had seen him on the street, right? You know, like already. It's crazy, like a crazy, I don't know if he was homeless or just like a crazy like guy who lives in Baltimore. Could it be either? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely mentally not, not well, yeah. you know. Um, but, and we went down, but as we came back up, 
he was standing at the top of the steps and he's got like this long like stringy hair right yes <laughs> um and he's not like a small guy to begin with but he's got a machete was was right? it no so i couldn't remember whether it was like an actual machete it was like an actual legit machete and we we're both just like <laughs> I couldn't remember if it was that or like in my mind, that's what it was. But then I was like, no, he couldn't have had that. He, he must've had like a, like a stick or something, was but it was straight an actual, up a machete. I thought we were going to die. Yeah. Straight up a machete. And, <laughs> and like, not only did we not die, but we like, just kind of like walked past him. Right. <laughs> like, like we walked past him and, uh, and then we kept on shooting. And then a little while later, we look across the street and he's like down with his arms behind, you know, he's like eating pavement and the cops are like all surrounding him because of course, like, Oh, I don't you know, remember. I don't remember that crazy but... guy, like carrying around a machete on the streets is going to draw some attention. eventually. I literally thought like he was going to start hacking us. Oh, <laughs> I I mean... oh man. Yeah. So that, that was memorable for in a different kind of way. <laughs> yeah. Never. Um, Next one is, is one of your favorites, I know. Um, I've got a picture of it up on the, uh, the shelves, or the, the, yeah, the shelves yeah. Are there. there. Um, um, and it was from early on. Uh, gosh, I mean, I, I, I can't pinpoint the year. But, you know, what I can say is that, that we had spent the morning shooting. We were definitely in downtown Baltimore. Um, and we were, we were kind of done for the day. Like, we had we had wrapped the last outfit and we were just kind of walking back to the car and there was this um that lot isn't even there like that no it's anymore. been like multiple things They've... it's been multiple things since then but it was like this um this old undeveloped lot um and the wall behind it uh you know had some graffiti on it it's like pretty pretty gritty looking but there was like this old milk cart in there and i just thought like oh it'll be really awesome to have you all dressed the way you were and uh juxtaposed against that like empty open scene and i still love now. that photo like i just it, it it is it's just interesting to me like why is that person there like what are they doing and and, they, and the pose you know you're kind of like sitting there just like thinking a little bit or whatever mm -hmm. i just yeah i just in my mind that stands out as a sometimes that happens where we'll we'll do like just kind of uh, this random photo we'll take and we're like, oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, and it probably wasn't something that we were ever really going to so much, you know, like use for the blog. I don't think we've mm -hmm. ever put it anywhere other than... Uh, we did like an unpublished picture post or sure. something like that a while sure. ago. Yeah, but no, it's... it's uh, you made a nice canvas of it. It's in the studio. Right. Yeah, I just... I love it. Cool. Uh, next one uh, was a pick of mine, uh, and probably not for the reasons that that you may remember. <laughs> this is another one I'm going to need some help remembering stuff with, uh, and that's uh, when we shot the Bentley Continental GT Black Speed Edition. This was what a freaking car! Uh, it's one of the coolest cars I've driven. Uh, actually, I think Me my too. my favorite, my favorite, uh, more than the Ferrari. The uh, you know. It just, it felt like a tank, but uh, a very nimble tank, uh, oh, yeah. humongous engine. Uh, so we, we had this car, it's bright red and uh, we have it for like, we're spending the day shooting with it. We made like a little video. We put the GoPros on it and drove around. Uh, we, it was a really cool. Uh, oh, we also flew the drone <laughs> to make that video. Yeah. Um, but it was really, really cool to do. So as we were like trying to like figure out where we wanted to shoot it, uh, what I remember is like we picked this corner uh, downtown and we parked it there. Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> but before, before that happened, which we'll get to, uh, <clears throat> the first thing that happened was, were we on the wrong side of the street? Uh, no, we weren't on the wrong side of the street, but we weren't like we had pulled out past the corner yes because it looked better that way it looked better right i mean looked better mm -hmm. so the first thing that happened was we were like sitting in the car uh and then a cop rolled up on us do you remember that yeah. you oh, do? Yeah, yeah. okay yeah yeah so he like rolls up and tells me to roll the window down and i roll the window down and and i'm like ah, shit. he's gonna like give me hell for being halfway out into the street exactly that's what i right. thought and and what what did he want to do? He was like, "Hey, can I take a look at this car?" 
right? <laughs> yeah. So, so we, yeah, uh, no doubt. No so doubt. we had the, had the, uh, the cop check out the car and he didn't care that we were pulled out halfway into the street, taking these pictures. But yeah. then the next thing that happened is we got to hear Baltimore's best rapper. He was amazing. <laughs> the best. It was on, I looked through, okay, so he, he, he rolled up on your side. He was just like walking on the street. And, and as I recall, uh, he said something like, uh, hey, yo, yo. He's like really trying to get us to like uh, open the car. We were like, I don't think so. Right, <laughs> you know? right, right. He doesn't look like a very friendly person. Uh, and then, uh, you know, similarly, like the samurai guy, like who this person is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then he's like, no, no, no. And we still like wouldn't open the door. He's like, I need this for my music video. I'm Baltimore's best rapper. And then he started like rhyming for us, right? Write and I, it down. I took a video of it, but I looked back and I couldn't find it. So that's gone forever. Uh, so yeah, I mean, how many years ago? I remember you taking the video of it. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, like those two things stand out. Uh, it, it occurred to me that day that when you have a car that fancy and a bunch of camera gear and red and red, like the <laughs> cops, they don't give a shit what you're doing, right? The cops are going to yeah. let you do whatever you want to. If you've got that car and a bunch of cameras and you look like you belong there, like sweet park, wherever you want, just, just do whatever you want to. <laughs> um, and then oh a lot of just like we, one of the GoPros like fell off the car while we were filming. Did it? We're like driving downtown and it fell off the side of the car and we had to oh. like go back and scoop it up. It, did it get run over? It didn't get run over, but, but we totally had to go get it. We got some, there's footage somewhere of like this GoPro just going. <laughs> oh, I have to look um, for that. And it was like, uh, I am not a drone pilot by any stretch, <laughs> but it was one of the first times that I actually flew a drone. And there's some of that footage that I still really love. Like, that's there's cool. like this wraparound shot that starts from one side of the car down like low at the hood level and like wraps all the way around to the other side. Mm -hmm. And like every time I have like watched it, I'm like, huh, I shot that. You know, yeah, it's cool. like, yeah, it's like <laughs> that it was, was at great. the very end of the day. Totally. Yeah. Like when you get the, the lens, like the headlight flare and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's all great, right. So great the, the next one is, is, was, is kind of a trip base, but uh, you, you chose it. Um, the shoot that we did for Van Cleef and Arpel uh, in Chicago with watches. Right. Right. So the, the reason I chose it and what stood out to me as the most hilarious thing was that. I wonder if it's the same thing that I, I thought when, when so I uh, we, saw that we, on the list. We rolled into town. Yeah. <laughs> and before we even go to the hotel or anything, you're like, yeah, I just got to stop by the boutique and pick up the watch. And, you know, it's Chicago. It's the middle of the day there's like limited street parking and we figure that out and you're I'm just like hey you know I'll stay with the car you're like yeah I'm just gonna I gotta run in and get it and you were back in like two seconds like and you like what? get in the car hand over this watch and like the watch is uh I mean it was many many thousands of dollars like a I very think was, expensive watch I think like it was like 30 40, 50. Or, oh was it that 30, much I was thinking 30, 30 40. or 35 yeah <clears throat> So expensive watch. And, and um, I was like, so like, yeah, do you have to like sign your life away or whatever? You're like, no, actually, I just walked in and like told them who I was and they gave it to me. And I was just like, yeah, that was the first time <laughs> that that's what, when you said, when you said it, that's, that's what stood out to me. It's like, just like, that was the first time I like, we like kind of did something and I walked in and they just like, here, here's this really expensive thing. <laughs> go, go have fun with it. Yeah. I, I, like still that sort of blows my mind you know mm -hmm. but then um it was cold uh, it was cold i mean sh chicago and what probably like march or yeah october yeah, yeah. or something <clears throat> like, like early spring in chicago um we definitely froze doing that but like the hotel was super awesome uh what hotel was that it was langham. right across from the langham yeah, the langham Langham was fantastic mm -hmm. and they were so accommodating like yep. that shout, one shout out to shout out to Kelly thanks for for hooking us up that day <laughs> oh yeah I mean we just got to shoot wherever we wanted and it was a great environment so we were able to really make some great great images right there mm -hmm. um 
it took longer than than it would take us now because it was like the first time that we were shooting watches and we were trying to do something like more editorial and Mm -hmm. uh like just show the vibe of the city and everything like that and uh I think it came out good. Well, we worked, we had to work really hard for it. Yeah. We worked hard for it for like a, a day and a half solid. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, oh, was it a day and a half? I don't remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we got up and shot the next morning too. Oof. For sure. Um, and um, the dinner, wherever that dinner was at that like downtown market area, another place where we had like a full fish show up on the plate and that the bar was made out of all of those, um, like stacked furniture. Hmm. Um, I know somewhere I've got a picture of that bar. Yeah. And we had like an an edit off or something on our phones. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Totally. We sat there like eating delicious food and like playing with our phones. Hmm. Sounds about right. All right. So uh, I'll just say we go to number 10 here. uh, And this is a recent trip, also a trip. uh, And it was to London. It's also with our good friends at JLC. Um, so what stands out about that to you? I was trying to think, uh, I mean, the people were, again, were, were great and, and it was great to see everyone. Um, but what did, what did you like most about that one? Um, it was my first time back in London for a very long time. I've been there, uh, previously. Um, and I, I like that city. Like I, I like, I like London. Um, mm-hmm. And so that was enjoyable. Uh, one of the main things that that's sticking out uh, to me is we were looking around for a place to shoot something, and that Rolls Royce pulled up. Yeah. And and we just sort of we managed to like just like hop in and take a bunch of pictures in a Rolls Royce, which was super fun. Yeah, like we're um, literally like I was like, hey, um, can I can we just like use that really quick. Like, I'm just going to like pretend I'm getting out of the car and then like, like Rob, then you jump in back and I'm going to get in front and you take a shot of the watch. <laughs> oh yeah. And there's some good, like we had to work so fast cause like it wasn't our car. We didn't have it like, didn't have it for us, you know? And we just like got in there and like took care of business and like pulled yeah. some killer shots and like got out. <laughs> it yeah. was super awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I remember that. That was awesome. Uh, there was also, we failed miserably uh, oh. at making a video. It was like the weather terrible. was t- terrible. Um, there was like just too much else to do, I feel. Uh, right. Yeah, so that, that was a little disappointing to me. But I think like all of the other content that we made, uh, pictures we took uh, were awesome for that trip. And then there was our lunch brunch with uh, Shari and yeah. Anouk. Uh, uh, amazing really really great yeah again it's like the people we get to meet and connections we can make and and shari someone i know from the the watch world and not watch world miami but uh uh, um, and style style world as well Uh, he's a super cool guy and again very generous very nice very much along the john paulo aliato lines so yeah anything else about that one i'm trying to think other than like the the nice plant Uh, you got to have your bond martini that's right. Oh, yeah. So we were, we, were <laughs> we went to Duke's Bar in Mayfair, and Rob doesn't drink, and uh, our uh, friend from JLC doesn't drink either. So I drugged these these two people <laughs> to a bar and made them wait. I was like forty minutes or so to to get a little table in in Duke's Bar, and then I I got the the Vesper. And oh, yeah. I was wasted, <laughs> like one drink from <laughs> well, because it was before dinner. We, we right, had right. a long time. Yeah. I felt that immediately. And, and uh, she and I were like even super underdressed because you also wore a tuxedo. I wore to a go tuxedo. Drinking. Yes. Yeah. You wore a tuxedo. And I didn't have socks on, which some people really found offensive when I posted the picture or I right. forget. Yeah. Whatever. Um, but then <laughs> like the final pictures that we took out in that courtyard at that, at the, at the big event, were also super cool. Like that shoot location was like off the charts. It just mm-hmm. looked so good. <laughs> yeah, so uh, good. Royal Royal Academy of Arts. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was great. Yeah. Well, those are the ten that we came up with. Yeah. 
it's cool to like sit back and remember all the the fun we've had and and the cool things we've done and and scary times occasionally oh sure so sure. well thanks for uh it's good to talk to you it's good to talk to you it's good to see you like i we don't ever uh right now nobody gets to kind of go hang out or do anything so yeah. it's nice to see well, your face just so just so we're clear i'm fine not seeing you i don't need to see you but you wanted to do this so we're doing it hey that's, that's you a tell joke. yourself you tell yourself whatever you need to but <laughs> uh well this was fun and uh thanks for everyone for tuning in uh be sure to uh leave your comments down below thumbs up that's like right yeah thumbs up means like subscribe hit the bell Here, hit the bell there you go is that where the bell is yeah, hit the bell <laughs> and leave us a comment let let us did i say that already nope there you go see so uh thanks again guys uh and uh if you want maybe we should do this occasionally I like it. Yeah. Well, we don't know when this is going to end, so we'll see. Yeah. I'll see. We'll we'll see when you can pencil me in again. Perfect. All right. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, uh, stay tailored.